She's fabulous. She's sassy. She's beautiful. She is Adiona Maboreke Chizonga. And let's do it the right way. Let's do it the proper way. <laughs> Today, we're a fly on the wall in the life of. Ah, in the life of Mr. and Mrs. Chizonga. <laughs> she, she, does, does that help? <laughs> Munya, does that help? <laughs> Oh, uh, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi, uh, you know, thank you for stirring the pot. Well, um, I think it definitely helps. It's nice to know I'm also in the room. Okay. Hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> Fantastic. So, um, Munya is an actor and a producer, uh, a film producer, and uh, Adiona is a musician and um, actress and TV presenter and um, oh, such a beautiful, beautiful soul. Ooh. I, I'm so, I'm so. That's it. I, I'm so tempted to that. You know what? Because we're being given the flowers. Oh, I love it. As you, as you deserve. You deserve. I really, really, um, I, I celebrate you too. So, so very much. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and that's after. Thank you. Yes. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Chidzonga and Nadefni, uh, Tinani, we welcome you. Oh, thank you, Daphne. Thank you, Daphne. All right, and so, um, yeah, we were going to ask all the standard questions. How long have you been married? What is marriage like? But Richard Buddha, mm -hmm. and already Rakto Buddha, because um, when I then introduced the song and I said, <laughs> as an artist, <laughs> yeah, no, tell us, tell hey, us. Yeah. As an artist, I'm screen you. How is that turning out in your life? Munya didn't mean his words. Could he? As in, did the, the, the cows not make it home to the Maboreke's? You know what? Double <laughs> barreling my name. Straight into it. Yes. I don't love this man or Mombe Adinagushik. Okay. But onai baba imboi sa phone pasika na ishama. I'm listening. I'm taking notes, baby. <laughs> right. Okay. This is a true marriage. I love I'm it. I'm taking notes. I got you. I got you. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't take away from how much I love him. How much I love the Chizongas. But it's just you know to say I was Adiona Maboreke. I made a name for myself before I became a Chizonga. And mm -hmm. some people actually disconnect the two mm -hmm. like funny mama i remember there was a time way back in 2011 yeah. um some lady walked up to me and then she says um e, you know it was during our separation we'll speak about that right yes yes, yes absolutely um during our separation and then she was like e, mm. and i'm saying no but okay but maybe she was mixing the names now Maboreke and Chizonga. Okay. so i it's for the people that were supporting me before i became a Chizonga. i am okay. a proud Chizonga after all i mean i think so i look I, you know I, I we've had this conversation many times and mm -hmm. you know i think i just have to make it clear that for me it comes from a place of love you know since i was a child it's always been one of my um, childhood wishes to, mm -hmm. to, to, to give my surname to a woman who would accept it. Mm -hmm. nice. So it's, 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 it's something that I'm very, I take you know, particularly well, because there's a responsibility that comes with that as well. Mm -hmm. you know, I know how famous she was before I met her, mm -hmm. and you know, there's no pressure. Mm -hmm. And my hope is that you know, the Chizonga name can live up to that fame and take it higher. Okay. So every time there's a double barrel, it's like you're diluting it. <laughs> It's like you're huffing it, uh -huh. and it's like my children, mm -hmm. you know, should they become, you know, more famous than us and be more successful than us, God willing. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that they are Mamore Kitchen Zongas as well? No, sir. Not at all. But so then you see, if you're building the brand as a double barrel surname, then mm -hmm. it makes more sense for them to be Mamore Kitchen Zongas. Okay, let me put it like this. There's some stages that I have to use a shorter name. Mm -hmm. I go with Chizonga. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. So we are the I'm business card. Yes. Okay, then just, yeah, call me on this number. Yeah. We are the Google me. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So I, I guess for me, music-wise, music-wise, I'm okay with doing the double barrel thing. Mm -hmm. But when I'm TV presenting, for example, I just use Chizonga. Okay. I, I think it's just... Because we are after... 
after marriage, right? I would actually like to know what other people think about it. <laughs> Me too. I mean, I, Me I, too. I, 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 I'm listening to you and watching it play out, and it's really fascinating. And I'm going to jump straight to something that links to your past or maybe how you broke into the public space. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, back in 2008, uh, Big Brother. Yeah. Yesterday, I happened to be in a restaurant with my significant other. I was on a date. breakfast date. So we, um, <laughs> so we got in there and the, the channel was on a soccer channel. Right. And we, we, we asked for the remote because it was empty. It was just the two of us. So we, we, we were flipping for something that we both like. So mm -hmm. we said, oh, big brother. There's big brother. We didn't know there was a current big brother. We don't even know whether it's current or not. We right. said, look, let's just catch up. Let's just watch the stream. We couldn't even hear. The volume was off. Mm -hmm. But we said, let's just watch Kutitone. You know the current names you know what in current affairs is yeah, yeah. what's going on right. mm -hmm. so as we are watching the there was uh, two couples uh, well, uh, two yeah in two incidents um a boy who was so smitten next to this girl i hit her laundry wow. was, uh, and he said ah that guy <laughs> Is, 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 is down for her. Because how can you tell? And the guy, she, she, she then explained, you know, the, the body language. Yeah. And then in another scene, there was um, a girl sitting next to a guy and they were lounging and then he was slowly rubbing her back. Just, you know, like, it could have been anything. I read it too. It could have been anything. Right. Then he said, um, imagine, I'm going to but look, and who's eh, and, and you're on the outside. But by the time you 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 go into the house, surely because the not pinned out no time the game mm. and things like this will happen. And so it, 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 it then projected. I then started projecting issues of you know being in the media. There are times when you can't be too formal. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah there are times when you can't be too formal. Like I was playing a Junior Brown <laughs> earlier, and mm -hmm. I have a crush on Junior Brown. Yeah, yeah. And it's something that you know. I think it's interesting, mm -hmm. you know, and I may share it. Yeah. And how that then affects your relationship back home. So my question to you is <laughs> I can see what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> we'll go back to Big Brother, but I'm I I I feel like we're going to run out of time. Yeah. Being in the media space, particularly mm -hmm. with this point where we started off, you using your maiden <clears throat> name, is are you demeaning the marriage? Are you demeaning your husband? How how do you handle all those dynamics? Being in the in the media space is not easy. No, at it's not. All. In the yeah. public space, it's not easy, particularly with how it affects your relationship. How has it turned out for for you? I'll start with you. Yeah, uh, tell us. Tell us. Uh, <laughs> you tell us. Now I see Jarara fans. But um, I think for me, the first thing that a lot of people out there that are in the public and when in my marriages are, are also in the public. Mm don't really get is there has to be a separation Munya always makes fun of me when i say poker face like mm. yata, ngua, face mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. so it's about that separating your personal and your professional i think it comes in very like aggressive especially kind of move in the entertainment industry yeah. Yeah. for me how it worked for me is i when Munya was in the house, I think I'll refer to that. Yes. And also when he's got my kissing scenes in movies mm. and whatnot, yeah. I sort of detach. And I'm thankful that I'm in the entertainment industry. Industry. Otherwise, okay. if I wasn't mm. the type of person that I am, and mm -hmm. So you're saying by nature? By nature, I'm a very clingy person. Okay. What star sign are you? Sagittarius. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so, I think learning, as the years go by, learning to separate the the two has mm -hmm. helped me, and also just saying, "Kanandashka mm kumba." -hmm. I'm not at Yona Mabure Kichizonga or at Yona Chizonga. Mm -hmm. I am just my for my. I am a mom. I'm a wife. I am not the things that people see out there. Mm. I'm my yeah. 19 minutes before 3 o'clock, we are a fly on the wall in the life of Mr. and Mrs. Chitonga. I'm going to play my part. <laughs> we are live on our Facebook page, Star FM. You can go through and check it out. It's a fly on the wall like you like every Sunday afternoon. The big personalities, we get up close and personal with them. Over to you, Munya. Um, yeah, how does that affect you? Even as a musician, uh, she may not be called to do very... 
contentious things with other males. She's but trying to be very, <laughs> yeah, very but, diplomatic. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, yeah. If I use yeah. the words in my head, it would be something else. <laughs> but my point is, yeah, she could win an award or go up on stage and, you know, courtesy. Someone has to kiss her on the cheek, has to hold her back. Do you feel some type of way about uh, simple gestures like that? Look, I'll, 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 I'll level with you. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'm a man. You know, mm -hmm. just like any other man, um, you know, I feel the same things. I have the same insecurities, and you know, I, I think you know, like like you know, like Adiona was saying, you know, sometimes you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's part of the job. It's part of the package. It comes with the job. There are yeah. some performers that I won't mention their names who do intimidate me. And <laughs> we've spoken about it. We actually, okay. we've actually, we've actually spoken about it. Okay. Oh, male yeah. performers. Male performers. Next yeah. to her, they make you uneasy. And I said to her, Ish, you know, <laughs> it, 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 I believe that God, you know, added a little extra sugar or nigga. Yeah. But this guy, mm. I think he had the whole teaspoon. You know what I mean? Perfect. <laughs> In my own assessment, you know, like mm. there's certain people where you're like, okay, this guy, I mean, it's a two-way thing. I mean, it's it's part of it is because sometimes you know I don't trust. Okay, I, I know, I know what how other men think. Well, most men, mm -hmm. um, and most men, they're like uh, they're like lions. Mm -hmm. They're opportunistic hunters. Okay. If the opportunity is there, they'll take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if it isn't there, they won't look for it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and there's some people who are trying to create an opportunity, and I saw that when we broke up. That you know, it was like <laughs> it was like blood in the water with sharks. Mm. It was just this frenzy, and you know, and the people that you you think are your friends mm. and they're already there so you know those are things that happen in any marriage mm. or in any relationship mm -hmm. but i think it's the the ability to to separate um work from home you know and and i, I think it's it's more hectic in the media because our job is so involved it's mm -hmm. so taxing mm -hmm. and in the public and in the yeah. public mm -hmm. and it's and, and i remember someone was saying that working in media is a circus yeah you know? it I mean, is your hours are crazy the work is crazy and everything is always last minute like mm -hmm. if this broadcast doesn't go on people will die yeah you know what i yeah, mean like, yeah so there's always pressure when you were in the house the big brother house were That's you right. were you conscious about uh, her watching and you see, that's a that's an interesting one because mm -hmm. you know I think it actually ties into being an artist as a whole, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm what 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 I'm what I'm battling with now. Mm -hmm. Now that I have a wife, I have a family, three beautiful boys, I find myself more afraid because I've got more to lose. Okay. So it's and that you know as a creative, fear blocks creativity. And True. Fear and creativity can't mix. True. So when I walked mm -hmm. into the house at that time, I. The second time was very difficult because I, I, I saw, all of a sudden I had this fear that, you know, okay, I've just seen my offspring and now it's not about me anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it was definitely different. Like, you know, it wasn't so much that I was conscious of her watching, but I knew that there was more at stake, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it, for, to the honest truth is for the last almost 10 years, my creativity has been somewhat blocked. Okay. And I've had to, well, not, let me not say blocked, I've had to re-channel it you know how, mm. how how am i a dad and how am i a creative how am i going to explore conversations situations people places emotions okay you know mm. so it, it is a it, it's very that's very interesting you ask that question because it's something that just hit me mm. and um as 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 you are saying uh the entertainment industry is a circus when the girls throw themselves at you because i mean you're quite a catch you know, oh, yeah. Did you hear that, baby? <laughs> We're not going to lie about it. It came from Ayati herself <laughs> on air. <laughs> about the you know, I'm, 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 sa I'm safe because the Murat is around. Yeah, you are. Yeah, 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 but that's what we're going to do. I'm here. I'm here. I'm How do you handle attention? Because women do throw themselves. Um, working in this space, I, 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 I sometimes am quite stunned myself. Mm. You know, this far in, in, in the industry, I look at how women throw themselves at men in entertainment mm. I, I it's, it's it's yeah it's shocking to say the least so oh, wow. when when women do that and throw themselves at you um how do you handle that and how have you handled it particularly in view of your of your marriage and fatherhood you know what, i'll actually you know i, I think it's a two-way thing um i've seen it work the other way as well mm -hmm. as a woman mm -hmm. when you're in the public space and in the media space you get so much more attention yeah. Be because there's a, there's there's also I wouldn't call it a stigma, but mm -hmm. maybe there's a perception or yeah. I, I think it people, is a stigma. Well, it's a stigma, and I think it's also it's because you're out there. It seems psychologically easier to approach you. Yeah, they think they can just 
Mm. Yes. <laughs> <Reach out. laughs> There's an entitlement. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I would actually pose a question to you ladies, being lovely ladies in the industry. And you all are lookers too. Uh, thank you. Well, thank we you. see you. But we are not going to fall for that. Yes. This, is, this is your question. Do you see what I... Uh, you. I tried to run away. No. Your question. Uh, look. That's how Rachirungu, but I was running. Yes, that's right. This guy's like, that's too smart. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I mean, growing up, it's not like I, I woke up yesterday in Pernox. I've always had them, mm. uh, by the grace of God. Yeah, sure. you know, I, 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 I know no more Spanish. She doesn't make ugly sons. Thank you. Okay, um, all right. Moving swiftly along. <laughs> moving swiftly along. Um, so it, it's something that I, I've always had to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but, not, not, but what would happen with, with me was that women generally don't um, hit on me. Mm. And it's because... I've recently discovered is that it's because I come across as quite arrogant. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know how that, that works. I mean, before I've even said anything, people mm -hmm. think, mm, we are no she don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that has shielded me for uh, quite some time. Okay. And then <laughs> I'll tell you an interesting conversation I had with one, um, with one young lady. And we're having the same conversation. What is it that makes women, you know, uh, men? Mm -hmm. And then she said, well, you're not rich enough. So what do you mean? So like, no, no, you, you got money, mm -hmm. but Maria wouldn't have changed Okay. Do you know what I mean? So mm. I know that I'm quite able. Okay. So we want people with bigger bellies and larger cars, you know. <laughs> but I think it's like it's like anything. Fighting temptation is it, there's no formula, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you just I I personally take it one day at a time mm -hmm. and one challenge at a time. Some I surmount, others I say. I mean, there's times I've come to Adiona and hey, <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, you have to be that honest yeah. mm. because we spend so much time in the media creating a persona. I don't want to mm. say lying, yeah. but creating a persona. True. That you have to have some honesty somewhere. Yeah, I love that. What was the breakup? The big breakup? Where, where, where? I think we uh, should take this. No, no. Ready. I want to hear from you first. Um, the short and simple answer is that I wasn't ready. Okay. Uh, I think I, I wasn't ready for. I mean, a lot happened. I mean, you, can you imagine, before I went into the house, yes, I was famous, but I was relatively famous. True. And then the second time I went into the house, everything changed. And I came out and, and I'll never forget this. This gentleman said, no, well, yeah, now you're an icon. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what do you mean? And this is before Facebook, before Instagram, you know, before Twitter and all these things. Yeah. And people know exactly what you look like. And there was just two, I mean, now all of a sudden you're out of the house, you're given a, a an amount of money mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. and you've got a child you've got a wife and you've got a house and now you're supposed to be a man and you're an icon and girls want you and la, 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 all this attention yeah. I just wasn't ready and okay. I forgot what was important mm -hmm. um, and I had to I had to lose the most important thing in my life to realize what was important you know oh, what I mean yeah. to just refocus mm. yeah. from your perspective Adiona how, mm -hmm. how would you say what, what went wrong um, I'd also add, I agree with him. I feel like, I don't mean to tweet our, our horns, but <laughs> women mature faster okay. than men. Okay. Commitment-wise, because once you become a mother, I guess, or once you carry a child, or even when you hit, you know, that maturity stage, mm -hmm. it's, you take on so much responsibility and you, you, you move with it so effortlessly. You've seen like my child headed families, most of them are girls. Yes. And when we responsibility on their shoulders so effortless, not to shame slot in one I'm leaking a kuching it over now. So I feel as if I matured faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was a little bit younger. Yeah. But reality I'm going to roll and bam. And also um, I just have to say this before I, I say anything else that I'm happy I stayed okay because I am happy that I saw him graduate from being that boy I met mm. into the man that he's become mm. how long were you apart eight months mm. yeah but we can just say maybe like four okay the second thing was definitely pressure from people 
Interesting. Because people will be in my ear, people will be in his ear. So, Interesting. Yeah. Charlene is in Greendale. She says, Ayati, I'm loving listening to these guys. They sound so genuine and so comfortable with each other. Oh, Charlene. And which is why I love you too. <laughs> no, we are nine minutes away from the news at three. I, I'm just feeling pressured already. <laughs> like, I've already run out of time. There's so much I'd like to discover about you too. But uh, let's do the most. 0775897897 if you have any questions. We are also live on our Facebook page. It does a star FM. Uh, go through and catch the action in the studio. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also felt, I, I remember when you were in the house the first time and then the news of the baby came. He was born when you were in the house, right? Correct me? So Two he was born before um, he got into the house. Four days, like yeah. four days before I went in. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I remember feeling some type of way, like, I'm fine. I, 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 I come from that school of thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. young marriages, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super skeptical. Mm. Um, but you've walked that journey. Mm. Give us your account. Um, do you do you think uh, getting married young is worth it, <laughs> with all the drama that comes, mm. or would you say maybe people should wait a bit longer to be a bit more mature? What I would say is again, my maturity levels. I know we are very different, Mulan, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want to d dictate what it is or zera or ira zera. Yeah. In our situation, we had to learn the hard way. Um, we were both very young. I was 21 when I had Fumai, mm -hmm. um, and you were 24. 24. And it was, it wasn't easy. Mm. I'll, I'll tell you that that it wasn't easy because my bar, our thing was we used to party. That was our thing. We okay. just used to go out. Tell the truth. We used and, to drink. And we used to drink, <laughs> <laughs> not go home. Yeah. yeah. So that was our thing. And then now all of a sudden, my beast was that you know. You know, it was a huge jump and also come fame, come also the big brother money and everything. It was just a lot for us. Okay. And I think we were thrust into it all. Yeah. I would say that it's not easy. And if you feel that it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not time for you, mm -hmm. don't do it. But if you feel in your heart of hearts that I'm ready and it's time, go for it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, look, I think the practical <laughs> side, logic would say wait. Wait okay. as long as you can. Okay. Logic, as not love. Mm. And look, I, I, but I'd never tell people to marry for love. I think that's nonsense. Okay. I think love, cause okay. Love, okay. No, 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 no. Let's go there. I no, like because it. look, love is a commitment, not okay. an emotion. Okay. Yeah, people okay. make yeah, the mistake of thinking that point. it's an emotion. I okay. love her. She drives me nuts. Mm. Don't marry a woman that mm. drives you nuts. Okay. Why do marry, you a, marry a woman that you can't fathom not waking up with. Tomorrow. In your life, mm. not not because she drives, she she's amazing and she's beautiful. No, mm. no, no. Just when one in the waterfalls, I would like this person to be there. That's why. Mm. When did you meet and how? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> so Quickly, uh, guys, I'm looking at the clock. Uh, sorry, okay. Oh, okay. So probably funny. postpone the news. Okay. <laughs> um, so we, we we met in 2008. Uh, yeah. we were my my father used to manage a band that she used to sing in. Okay. And um, so we were sort of match made. I remember there's a lovely lady, Kundisa M. Taylor, shout out, uh, who brought us together. She did a bride uh -huh. just for the two of us. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But she just said, look, you guys should be together. Yeah. And then that's how we met. Oh, lovely. Exactly. And what, what, what did you see in her? First time I saw her, I was speechless. Mm. All I could say to her was that voice. Mm. Uh, I, I think, okay, I won't lie, I'm a guy, but I was blown away by them. I'd never <laughs> seen someone so beautiful, the brown eyes, the light skin. I thought she was Zambian or something. Okay. And then I couldn't even say anything to her. Like and an I idiot. felt like I felt so let down because I liked him too. Mm -hmm. And then all he You're said also was, blown away, was that voice. Oh, are you a looker? <laughs> uh, but I just I am a looker. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Carry on. Listen. All right. So, um, but I have to give credit to my father-in-law as well because you know every time after we'd finish uh, a gig or whatever, right on the pericles zakumba. Okay. What I want, murora wangu do pericles zakumba, murora wangu do pericles zakumba, and he spoke into and this was into we... existence. This ah. was like a year before, so I knew him for a year before I met Munya. And mm -hmm. they thought that <laughs> she was his girlfriend <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> Outside of the breakup, what's been your lowest moment in, in marriage, uh, Adiona? Hmm. Lowest moment, so lowest moment, I would say, besides the breakup, I mm. think that was it for me. Okay. That was definitely it for me. Okay, what's annoying about Munya? 
uh, the chewing. <laughs> She's got this thing like I, I, I can't, can't stand people that chew. I, 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 I can't chew in the, the same room as her. There. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. And I just go change her. No, it's getting worse. <laughs> We're together for what, fifteen years, married eleven. Mm -hmm. He hasn't mastered the art of chewing with his mouth closed. I it's been fifteen years. Together, yeah. Mathematics, son. Oh, 2008, isn't it? <laughs> Are you a romantic, Munya? No. Don't no. believe in that. I think my it's love not. language is not, it's not flowery and airy-fairy gestures that mean nothing. I spend mm -hmm. time, I give time. It's I, supportive. I'm supportive. I, I'm thoughtful. Not really okay. Romantic. That's your love language. Yes. That's how you would feel loved. Yes. If she spent time with you, if she is supportive and, and, and. Yeah. But what's your love language, Adiona? Oh, I love things. Okay, so he knows that. So but gift he, giving, he makes yes. Okay. He makes an effort as well. I should say that. But after I suggest, it's and not ki it's not kind. It's not a kind suggestion. It's yeah, more no. like Nrukuta chagat chagat. Shama, shama. It's my birthday, and unfortunately for me, we are birthdays are about five days apart. Five days apart. Mm -hmm. But mine is first, okay. so she always sets the tone. Ah. They must give. So yeah. it, those five days are hell. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, you know, I think I have. I've stood on stages and performed for thousands of people and it's easier than thinking of a <laughs> gift for Adiona for her birthday. So much love for you on our WhatsApp <laughs> platform. I think that is a wonder from that discussion, marriage and business. Uh, thank you so much. Our very own power couple, we love you. We're just two minutes away from the news. Munya, what's her worst annoying or most annoying habit? Um, ish, that's, a, that's a tough one. That's uh, a funny <laughs> You came prepared for your one, the one yeah. that you thought you knew. That was PC. I don't know. I think it's, uh, I actually don't know. I can't actually think of it. I, a feet. I've got this thing about feet. Mm -hmm. um, I love them and I hate them. And she likes to put them in my face. And and, and Rosema, so she loves to eat like, oh, yes, that's it. And Rosema, so she loves to drink my drink and then eat my food. And mm. then I, you know, masao. I just, <laughs> masao. And she loves masao. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. She eats masao in the bedroom. Don't eat masao in the bedroom. <laughs> Why? I'm laughing because I, I love myself. I love but, myself. But I, I eat them in well ventilated spaces. I think so. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just a moment, man. You know, relax us so. You can play some games. We show a movie, guys. Mm. You okay. know why in the bedroom, baby? <laughs> All right, a minute away uh, from the news, guys. I am. I'm so anxious. I want to make the most of it, but I can't think of an appropriate question. Mm -hmm. Um, what would you like us to know about you and your marriage that is so in our faces? Um, I think one thing that I'd like to make clear is can we are trying our best to separate our personal lives near the public life. Mm -hmm. Our life is in entertainment, mm -hmm. our life and our marriage is not entertainment. Okay. So just to make that bold statement out there, can people just stay not invested too much in that because putting someone on a role model pedestal is just too much pressure mm. so they should appreciate our gifts and then our personal life is a personal life oh well we're going to have to end it there sadly <laughs> the time Aww. is not on our side but thank you so much to our power couple celebrity couple baba namai which is longer and shut up and go foot Oh man, and they sealed it with a kiss, leaving the time at exactly 3 o'clock time for the news.